And I'm going to show you how you can register your account on L Bank so that when you claim your ONF tokens from the Oracle network, you can take them to L Bank and convert them to USDT. So you go to your Play Store and you click on search. Okay, search button is here down. I think you know it. Then here up, you put the name L Bank. Okay, L Bank is a crypto exchange. It's the number 17 crypto exchange in the world. L Bank. Okay, click on L Bank. You search. And this is the L Bank we are interested in. This one here. So click on install install it will take a few minutes i will just have to put this on times two or times three so that it is faster once l bank has been installed just click on open okay click on open and you'll be greeted with this interface click down here on agree okay click here down on agree then you'll be prompted to register just click close this we have to click on this login slash register and when you click on this you best put in your email and you create a password or when you sit down you can register with google or gmail so me are going to click on register my screen is hidden i click down on gmail then i'll be asked to choose the email address i want to use on this account and just like that i can i'm able to enter into the account okay just like that in a few steps so when you click on register just sit down you see the logo for google click on it choose the email you want to use and just like that you will have registered your account so what happens here is that i can deposit i can come here and click on deposit okay i can come here and click on deposit when i click on deposit they tell me which token do you want to deposit i'll search here up and i search for a token called onf okay ONF. I want to deposit ONF. So you can see it is here. ONF token. So I'll tap in it. Okay. When I tap in it, they tell me that I'm going to use the BEP20 network. You see this down? BEP20 network. Okay. This one here down. It is the one I'm going to select. After selecting it, they are going to give me a wallet address on which I can deposit the ONF token. So I'm going to copy this wallet address. After copying it, I can now go to my token pocket wallet. You can see on my token pocket, I don't have any ONF. Do you see this? I don't have any ONF. Okay. So now let me go and I enter into my Oracle Oracle wallet. Let me show you how, you, how we are going to duplicate this. Okay. If I come here on market makers, here down here on market makers. Okay. Market makers here down and I click. Okay. If I click, you can see I can scroll down and I claim these because these ones have already gone, are already available to be claimed. Okay, so let me click on claim. Okay, uh huh. I confirm. When you claim, they won't reflect here immediately, rather, they will reflect here. Okay, reflect here. And if also you can see the balance I have I had here has decreased because whenever you make a transaction, you spend bnb as you feel that's why it is it is okay for you to make few transactions per month so that your five dollars can take you for a few transactions so i'll click here on plus this plus here uh-huh then there it says my tokens do you see this it says my tokens so i click on it uh-huh now i can add this token manually let me click on plus and i add this token manually when i go back it will be added when i go back you can see it will be added. You see this? ONF has been added. Okay? It has been added. So what do I do? Remember when you claim the ONF tokens, they are put into your... When you click on the word claim in your ONF tokens, they are put into your token pocket. So I'm just going to come here and click on this token pocket. Okay? I'm going to come here and click on token pocket. When I click on token pocket, I say understood here down. Then you can see here the word transfer and then receive. So I'm, click, I'm going to click on the word transfer because I want to transfer from token pocket to my L bank. Click on transfer. Then you'll be requested to paste, okay, paste the wallet address. So you're going to paste the wallet address that you copied from L bank, okay. Then here they, you ask to put in the amount of 
ONF that you want to transfer here, amount of ONF you want to transfer. So for me, I'm going to click on all, you know, transfer all these 0 0.6 ONF, okay? That's what I'm going to click on, all, all, okay? And everything will be put there. Then I can just click here on confirm, confirm. Then, of course, I click on continue. I click on confirm again. Then I'll be asked to put in my password. So here, just put in my password of uh, token pocket. And just like that, the money will be transferred from my token pocket. If we can come back to my token pocket, you see the ONF that has remained is zero, zero, which means the ONF has gone. So if I click, if I go back to my L bank, if I go back to my L bank and I refresh, you can see the ONF has been put okay the onf has been deposited and if i go to my assets here down okay if i scroll down you can see i now have onf worth 4.87 dollars so what do i do you just have to come here and click on trade here this option here click on trade okay when you click on trade you'll be brought to this page so come here because you want to sell your onf tokens come here and select sell Okay, first select sell. Okay, select sell. But now come here on where it says BTC or whichever coin is there, and you select ONF because it is the one you want to sell. So search for ONF. ONF. This is the one that you want to sell. This one here. Okay. So click on this button. Then you want to sell at the market price. Also remember to change this limit change this limit to market price because we want to sell at the current market price so select market price then of course you want to sell a hundred percent whichever amount you want to sell depends on your need may i want to sell a hundred percent so i'll i'll bring this remember where have i touched okay you bring this you see this is like a zero bring it all the way to where you want to sell, you can say sell 75% or 25% or 50 or 100%. Me, I'm selling 100% like that. So I'll just click on sell ONF. When you bring it to 100%, you can see they are saying your amount of ONF that you're selling should be equal or more than 0 0.1. Now, in this case, if my ONF token that I had claimed were more than 0 0.1, because that is the minimum you can sell here, then I'll have got back my money in form of usdt so just it was for example purposes once you get the usdt in your assets then you can now transfer the usdt to your binance and sell for your local currency it is as that easy it is so simple you can claim your, your onf tokens change them to usdt transfer them to your binance or whichever wallet you're using whichever exchange you're using and sell for your local currency straight to your bank account or straight to your mobile money depending on the country where you are it is as simple as that hopefully you learn something